Hello, my name is Andy DeCourt, and it's my privilege to serve as the pastor at Phoenix Christian Reformed Church. Today, I'm at a cemetery with Vanderarks. No mother should ever have to bury her son, but today, that's what Allison had to do. We mourn with Ron and Allison and with Ryan too. Whenever someone, especially someone in their 40s, gets cancer and dies, it's natural for us to ask why. Of course, we ask why about all sorts of bad things that happen to people. Years ago, Ron wrote a poem entitled Why. He didn't write it for Ross, but it certainly fits, and I'm going to read it now. Why do some have constant pain and only walk with crutch or cane? While I go blithely on my way and suffer not from day to day, why are some both blind and lame while dread diseases twist their frame? Yet I live on from year to year with not a thing to draw a tear. Is it for some intrinsic worth that I walk healthy on this earth? Or am I so deep in evil's mire that I'm not worth refiner's fire? I know the Lord in all his grace has shined his mercy on my face, and I will ask him when I die the answer to my question, why? In the graveside service, I shared two remarkable invitations that Jesus offers, followed by a promise. From Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Did you notice the same promise is attached to both of Jesus' invitations? Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And then the second invitation Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Those who are weary are invited to come to Jesus. Those who are burdened are invited to take Jesus' yoke upon them. The result is rest for our souls. The way we find rest is to lose our burden at the cross and allow Christ to put his burden and yoke upon us instead. Those verses can answer our question why, but we can join with the Vanderarks in praising God that Ross did indeed come to Jesus and find rest for his soul after so many years when that didn't appear to be the case. Just four days before Ross died, he told his dad he wasn't afraid to die because he knew where he was going. Despite all of his burdens, Ross had indeed received rest for his soul from God. In our lives, we have burdens too. Freedom isn't found in discarding the yoke of Christ. It's found in losing our own burden. Perhaps the greatest paradox of the Christian life is that under Jesus' yoke, our souls find rest. We might think that we, we wouldn't find freedom by taking on Jesus' yoke, but yet that's what Jesus promises. Not after we die, but now, or at least as we come to Jesus, we don't have to wait for peace for our souls and rest for our souls, rest for our burdens. As we take Jesus' yoke upon us and learn from Jesus, we'll find rest for our souls despite the pandemic, despite whatever burdens we carry. Jesus promises rest for your souls for all who come to me. May God's Holy Spirit help us come to Jesus and receive rest for our souls. Amen.